12 pre XHP 70 LEDs, a heavy orange peel reflector, six lantern style side light LEDs, fully integrated rechargeable battery pack, 53,000 lumen output, and an actively cooled heat management system. The Emolent MS-12. Okay, now if you remember, this is the spot where just a few days ago we shot the beam shots for my 16,000 lumen version of the BLF GT. If you don't remember that, it's probably because you're not subscribed. So do that. Well, that way you won't miss stuff. Now this, closer, 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 is my son, Jordan. <laughs> he's got a great job now in his own place, but in spite of that, he still comes down here to see his dad as often as possible. Now that's a good boy. He's gonna be helping me tonight. Okay, buddy, first give me the 16,000 lumen BLF GT. It's the whole wall. Okay, now give me the 53,000 lumen Emolent MS-12. Wow. <laughs> Dude, turn it off to the left there some. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen it out here too, dude. Go back out, to shine out to the building again. Look at the range on it. That is ridiculous. It's like broad daylight right there. Man. Even clear out on the other side of that building, we've got light. Okay, I just got this in the mail. Emilent sent it to me for review, so shout out to them. Super thanks for that. Let's just, uh, let's jump in and take a look at this massive beast. And, you know, I say big light. It kind of, it kind of is, but really for what you get in this right here, that's not that bad. I mean, look at it. Here's it next to the BLF GT. So, you know, we're looking, we've got a similar size head. This is actually a little bit smaller, similar size head, you know, uh, fully loaded. I think the weight of the GT is still a little bit more. Uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. Not only that, um, they gave us this. We got a pretty decent strap with it, you know, that lays across your shoulder pretty well. And I like the way that it hooks to the light, one on the tail, and this bad boy right here on the bezel. Now it is just slightly larger than its predecessor, the DX80. Uh, you know, it's okay, it's quite a bit bigger, but I think the trade-off is totally worth it to get that extra power and, and our cooling system. Um, looking inside here at this beast, uh, it will automatically come on when it's needed. It is programmed to do that, but we can also just turn it on when we want. Taking a quick look at the numbers here. According to the instructions, we get our 53,000 lumen turbo, and when the cooling system and the turbo timer kick in, we drop to 15,000, which is still crazy, and according to this, it looks like that is fully sustainable. 78 minutes on 15,000 lumens because of our cooling system? I'm anxious to find out if that's the truth because that would be phenomenal. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this works. 
uh, because I haven't taken it apart yet. And trying to judge from the way the airflow feels, it's like, it's hard to tell. But when the fan does kick on, you know, it's, it's tough to tell where the air is going. I thought maybe at first that it was like a, a closed loop system. But when I look inside there, I can see what I think is the fan blades moving. So we'll have to do a little more research on that. Okay, well that was uh, not overly helpful, but I do have another idea. Okay, new plan. Got my trusty thermometer out, and what I will do is uh, we'll kick on on the 15,000 lumen uh, mode, and I will keep temping it in the same spot, and hopefully get it right before the fan kicks on. Then when the fan does kick on, I'll continue to do that for the next several minutes and see if that keeps this uh, at a sustainable temperature and I don't have a lumen tube big enough yet so we can monitor the output that way so what we'll do is I will set up um, in my light box there and we'll just put the light meter in there too and ceiling bounce so that we can see if uh, the output is staying at that 15,000 lumen mark Okay, we are now out past the 20 minute mark on our test and I'm pretty impressed. You know, it 20 minutes is a long time for a light like that and even though we never saw temperatures go down from the fan, I think that it did have an impact on the temperature and we also never saw some fast fall turbo timer crash. Um, I can still grab this. It's, it is hot, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I, I would not want to be having to hold that, like it's comfortable <laughs> down at the tail. Uh, up here at the very top, um, I fished around in here and the, about the hottest place I can find is 161. Uh, Okay, now assuming we did have exactly 15,000 lumens at turn on, uh, that means at the 20 minute mark, we still had 11,663 lumens left going. Um, that active cooling system, I feel like it is helping. I think it, it's not monumental, okay? It's not like wow cooling but i definitely think it helps and i'm jazzed I, it's a step in the right direction a quick run through the modes click for on that's actually our load 300 lumens or so Oop. MS-12 versus the moon. <laughs> Take that moon! Yeah!
Okay, here's our user interface. We click for on, click for off. From on, if we press and hold, we cycle through the regular modes, uh, starting at a 300 lumen low and going all the way through to a 30,000 lumen high high. Um, double click for turbo. We can double click again and also get strobe. From the off position, we can press and hold and it will turn the side LEDs on. Uh, further clicks will adjust the brightness up and down on those. Let's compare to some industry super heavyweights. The Ace Beam K65. That's the D-domed XHP70 LED in that, 6500 lumens. Great thrower. Now, Emelent MS-12. <laughs> the Ace Beam X80 GT. That is the 32,500 lumen. Super bright, not a lot of range, not seeing a lot in the back there, but very bright. Now the Emelent MS-12. Just wall-to-wall -wall coverage there. This thing has got some range on it. The 100 watt halogen headlights on my truck on high beam. Now Emelent MS-12. Super thanks to everybody for watching yet again. This is Matt Smith wishing you good lucks.